Hi everyone, Mosmo here from the Blue Root team. And today I have a super exciting video for you. It's like a little hidden trick inside of Zoho, not heavily documented. And we recently did a video on organizational email. And this video is kind of tagging on to that, where you can actually have more than one email signature inside of the CRM. And you can tag a certain signature to a certain email, including organizational email. So in this video, I'll show you how to set that up, some tips and tricks on it, and some use cases I've seen people use it for. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, turn on the little notification bell. I bring out videos every week and also feel free to join my office hours. I'd love to meet you, chat with you. The link is in the description. The office hours is a great place to learn more about Zoho. Ask me any question about just about any Zoho app and yeah, enjoy the video. See you in there. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hit the settings icon or the gear in the top right. Once you've done that, you're simply gonna move over to the email section. So for those of you that haven't set up your email yet, I'd recommend you do that. I have a video, you can you can find the link below. You can go to this tab and actually set up your email. And, and what set up your email means is you can actually integrate your current Gmail or Outlook or Yahoo or basically any email into the system so that all emails you send or receive from your inbox will flow into the CRM. So I'd recommend doing that first before you get into this. Now, back to what the video is about. First off, here's your signature builder, right? And so the signature builder is pretty straightforward. It's like just about anyone out there. You can put details about yourself here. You can put different font types, different sizes. You can also put images and you can link things. So if you're putting your website, whatever, you can highlight this and actually put the website link here, right? You can also here put the unsubscribe button if you want to put that in your email signature by all means. So set up your email signature and typically people set it up exactly like their, their inbox one so that it looks like it's sending from your inbox. The other thing I will note, if some of you are a bit more hardcore, you can actually insert HTML. If you have HTML from your current email, you can put it in here, you can preview it and then hit insert and it'll put all that HTML in here. So now you've set up the signature. Now kind of the cool part, you can name this signature. You can put which user is allowed to use it. So once you set up an organizational email and I have the video link below, you'll be able to see right here when you click, there will be another email here. And so you can click on that email and basically say, well, this email signature is available in Blue Root or Tom Hall in this case, and also the organizational. So when you go to send an email, which I'll show you in a second, you can choose the signature from both of them. But you may say, oh, when I send it from the organizational email, I don't want to make a mistake. Like I only want one email signature. And so basically what you'll do is you'll make your signature. Let's say it's sufficient. Great. You can hit plus here with the organizational email and then get rid of this and actually put the email here. So for example, if you have two emails, email A and email B right here, you'll put email A, you'll hit the plus here, add a new signature and then put email B there. Now you can have them overlap, but the idea here and some of the use cases are, let's say, and I talk about this in the organizational email video, let's say you have a use case for support at Blue Root in our case. And you don't wanna buy a user for that person or that email, but you wanna be able to send from that email if you're talking to a client. So you would add it as an organizational email here, and then you would come back over here and you would make a specific signature for that support at Blue Root. Once you're done that and hit save, now when you go to actually send an email to a person, for example, when you hit send email, uh, there is no email in this person, one sec. When you go to send email, you'll be able to choose yourself or the organizational email right here, and then the signature will coincide with that based on what you set up. So it's a really neat trick to personalize your communication and segment the signatures, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. There's a ton of use cases for this and it basically allows you to expand how you use Zoho. Until next time.